Pluto in Aquarius revolution, it's a communication revolution. The last one we had, industrial revolution at that time in that cycle, was also communication because it brought people and markets together with the tools of the industrial revolution. This one is more cyber mental kind of uh, group revolution, but driven by technology to do with communication mainly. Medicine will also come later then. But the tools at the disposal of the new society are clearly of a communication technology. We had discussed the new internet will be maybe the Omninet, but that works with different new electromagnetic frequencies and energies, so we don't even really know yet how this would look. We may transcend even the iPads and stuff, although there are the dark side of Pluto in Aquarius would be, for instance, put chips in the heads of people. I mean, this being discussed by some funny people who must have a lot of time on their mind, but the productive and constructive side of this communication revolution, which again would be between 2024 and 2044, would be that Pluto transforms the way the group communicates things and engineers the communication systems. This will do away with a lot of useless jobs where people do things they don't need to do. They'll be doing more creative, more intelligent things. So I'm designing you a possibly very positive, creative management time ahead. And I know people who are into this and they will do that. So you see you have these extremes that touch each other because of Pluto, which transforms and transcends and breaks apart everything that's not needed anymore. Okay, so those are these two long cycles. And then, at the same time, you need to look at where Uranus is during the start of this moment when Pluto moves in 2024. That's when we had discussed last year, Saturn is then going to go into conjunction in line of Neptune. That's when we'll have most probably extreme weather changes, floods, anything to do with Neptune, cold, hot, extreme weather changes, beginning probably 2024, at the moment when Pluto moves into Aquarius. So you have weather changes most probably going on at that time, but also with Uranus in Gemini, we have discussed also what it does in Taurus with the land reforms. In Gemini, it then transforms the thinking and communication of people. And this alignment, 120 degrees, that lasts from about 2025 to 2029, 30, moves us towards or points to a very constructive, creative technological society with new tools of communications.